Not only am I a blind archer, but I'm a blind mother. I was a victim of a uh, very heinous crime. So um, that's how I lost my sight. But now Jasmine Vandiver is taking inspiration from archery and is moving past that tragic event. You know how the arrow flows? I think that's how life should be. It should always be moving forward, not being stagnant or complacent. She is part of a group of blind archers that practice at West Town Archery in Brookfield. I believe it gives them a chance to be competitive, gives them a chance to do something that, that nobody thought they could do it. Archers line up alongside a specialized stand. They put their feet against the bottom and their hand rests near a pin. It helps them maintain form and gives them a sense of direction. Lyle Marignac or another instructor will help them load arrows and walk them to the target to feel their shots. And you got all of these in a cluster. Oh, cool. That's Michelle and her husband, Dan. Go over to my left a little yeah. bit? Okay. He was actually the one who first approached Lyle about the opportunity to do archery in 2017. And I looked over and I said, Dan, your nickname is Blind Dan. <laughs> and now he's been doing archery for five years. Really Good job. He has a disease that slowly reduced his vision until he became blind. He says people often don't even realize he's blind until they ask him certain questions. You didn't ask me what my favorite color is. What's your favorite color? Doesn't matter, I'm blind. <laughs> but all jokes aside, what these athletes like Jasmine and Dan are doing is proving that anything is possible. We have just choices in life and you can either choose to sit there or get up and uh, do some archery. You can even watch them compete at the annual Wisconsin Highland Games. In Brookfield, James Grow, TMJ4 News.